Still with problem 1-2-A, we're now on part 4. And again, I always pick the easy apples. I'm not above picking an apple up off the ground and taking a bite. If I see a worm, I don't worry about it. If I see half a worm, that's when I worry. So let's take a look at what they give us. Because that's always the easiest apples. They give us the assets for 16 of 60,000. They give us the liabilities for 16 of 40,000. So using our basic accounting equation, assets minus liabilities equals equity. We come up with the equity of $20,000. So we're going to need that for the first part of the second half. Now let's take a look at 17. They tell us that the assets were 85000 Again, they give us the liabilities of 24000 And whenever you're given both assets and liabilities, the difference between them is equity, and that's 61000 That's the ending piece of this. Now, they tell us throughout the year they had net income of $14,000. So we have to add that. They tell us there are some stock issuances. We don't know how much. We'll make that X. And there were no cash dividends. So, laying this out as an algebraic formula, we have 20,000 plus X plus 14,000 equals 61,000. Using the algebra you learned in sixth grade, move that around and you find out that the stock issuances must have been 27,000. So like you've seen before in almost every other problem we've done so far, it's not the math, it's not the algebra which is very simple. It's wading through the accounting babble, knowing that beginning equity plus stock plus income minus dividends is ending equity, knowing those pieces, filling in the blanks, and then simply doing the very basic algebra.